Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So we've had us a little dry spell here in central Oklahoma. Uh, two dry spells. It hasn't rained since about mid-August. And uh, man, it is super dry. We're in a dearth here. And it's very hard to do inspections uh, because of robbing. And another dry spell, I haven't done a video. I was looking, it's coming up on two weeks. I, I did shoot a homestead update and I'm gonna be working on that. But uh, I haven't shot a beekeeping video in uh, about two weeks now. So, uh, and the reason is, uh, been, uh, all I've been doing is feeding uh, the, the hives that need fed, get their weight up. And I've been uh, doing my oxalic acid treatments, which I did the one video on that. But uh, I haven't been able to do inspections. Uh, because of the crazy uh, feeding. It is so dry here. It's just everything is crunchy. Uh, the grass, you just uh, walk around, there's, it just poofs dust everywhere. It's, it's, it's super dry. Uh, when I was uh, feeding last night, I put on 150 pounds of syrup, so 75 pounds of sugar and the, the other half water weight. So 150 pounds of, of nectar out here. I, uh, I was uh, trying to figure out uh, which hives had internal feeders and I thought I would go ahead and try and open some of those up and, uh, and get some internal feeder, uh, feeders filled up because I haven't been opening the hives, I've been afraid to. So I did open one up and, and I did do a quick little check, looked around in there for the queen and a couple other hives I did open up and look at them just to did a, do a qu very quick inspection status. And uh, I was able to do that without too much robbing. Uh, the last one I did there was a little bit. So I'm thinking today I'm going to get down here and shoot a video. Uh, hive 9 is where I had that. It looked like a, uh, a virus had gotten into the bees. There was a, a bunch of crawlers. Uh, uh, down on the ground and they weren't dead. They were just crawling around. Their wings weren't uh, deformed and that's that's a new virus that uh, I don't know if it's new but it has been going around and I saw on the Central Oklahoma Beekeepers uh, Facebook page some other people had been experiencing that and uh, so I had that here. It's being studied at the University of Tennessee uh, as to what it is. So what they think it is the queen gets the virus from a mite she passes it on to the offspring uh, uh, through the eggs. So, and that, that's how they get it. And the hive eventually will collapse and they all die out uh, because they just can't get over it. Uh, so I have done two oxalic acid treatments uh, to start getting my mite counts down. Uh, but that hive should be failing according to what I've read about this. So uh, I'm gonna get in there and do a hive inspection as fast as I can, make sure it's queen right, see if there's any brood in there, uh, see the health of the brood, what it looks like and how much brood is in there. Uh, it's a fairly healthy hive as far as weight. Uh, they did have a lot of honey in the top. So I did do a quick peek in there that day I saw those crawlers on the ground and the crawlers were dead the next day. So there was probably, I guess, two to three hundred bees laying right below that hive and they were just crawling around lethargic so uh, people have commented that they've seen it as well and they thought it was a pesticide uh, kill so and that's possible too but uh, they think it's this virus so let's get into hive nine check it out and uh, let's see what the health looks like in hive nine let's get started okay here's the hive number nine entrance uh, it looks to be normal. I mean, it's not packed, but you know, you got a decent amount of guard bees out here, and we got bees coming and going. Uh, down here, you can see some of the residual uh, dead bees that were the crawlers along there. So let's. Uh, we're going to make this fast and furious, so we don't uh, create robbing. We're going to. We're going to do our best. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I'm going to do uh, when I pull my one frame out to get in there and work on it, I'm going to put it in this nuke box and I'm going to cover it up uh, so nothing can get to it and it'll cover up the smell a little bit, uh, the scent of any nectar that may be on that frame. So that's one thing I'm going to do to help with the robbing. 
and I'm going to use plenty of smoke. Got my smoker lit really well. And if I wind up taking this box off, uh, I'll set it on top of one of these other hives and cover it so uh, it's protected as well. Hopefully we can just do this top box though. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and use a generous amount of smoke because I'm not worried about seeing the queen. I just want to see evidence of the queen. So, I see a decent population up here. It's not super strong, but most of them went down when I smoked them there. But I can see bees in uh, most of the frames. Let's, uh, let's get in there and go through them and see what we can find. So there's a little bit of uh, nectar in here, not much. Uh, same thing on this side. So see, I got that. I put that frame over there in that box and got the lid on top of it. But there's still all the, uh, you know, smells from this hive that's coming out in the air now. So. Try and mask that as much as we can with smoke. Keep any robbers away. So this is heavy. This is a honey frame. It's mostly capped. That side's all capped. Like I said, this hive was doing good. Uh, it wasn't hurting for honey stores at all. Honey. Decent amount of bee coverage. Everything looks okay so far. This is all honey on both sides. There's a few bees flying around here. We already got robbers showing up. Here's a little bit of a capped brood. Honey, capped brood. A couple of bees emerging right here. So this looks healthy. This side's the exact same way. It looks healthy. I don't see any larva. It's just all capped. So with that capped, the day that I saw my crawlers, uh, that would have been larva at that time. It's getting cloudy. We got a chance of rain. Let's get my light to see if I can see eggs. I'm not seeing any eggs right off. And there's no larva there either. Let's look at the other side. No eggs or larva. So the queen isn't laying, at least not on this frame. So that smoke's not for these bees in here, it's for these ones floating around out here that are robbers. This is an empty brood frame. They've all been emerged here. Same thing on this side. I'm looking for that queen. And here's our queen right here. She looks healthy to me. She's moving moving well.
let's uh, look on here for eggs. So population looks okay here too. And this is totally laid up uh, with uh, very young larva. Like they haven't been there long. So here's our queen. I'm going to get this back in here. And uh, let's go a couple more frames just to see. Because we seem to be doing okay from a robbing perspective. So we've got a laying queen, laying eggs. She looked healthy. Here's brood, good coverage. I'm looking down on the next frame. It looks good as well. Uh, I don't see anything that's alarming me to worry about this hive failing. So we will continue our mite regiment. I'm gonna shut this thing up because all these bees darting around up here on the up high, these are robbers. So I'm probably 10 minutes away from a bad situation or less. So let's get this closed up. Okay, I want to check the weight on this hive. Make sure it's uh, nice and heavy from a weight perspective for their health as, of, as to how much food stores they've got. And this hive, I would rate it, you know, towards the right-hand side of the scale as being heavy, so it's good. They have got all the stores they need to get through winter. I saw good, healthy population. I didn't see any brood issues uh, the brood was healthy yeah so if i hadn't seen those bees out front and did an inspection on this uh, i would not know that there had been any issues or problems with this hive uh, pretty sure that was a viral kill out out in front there and uh but uh the so the brood looked healthy uh the queen looked healthy the queen's laying uh, so we'll just continue our mite treatments and uh, when we get through with all of our mite treatments, which I'm planning on doing four, I've done two already, and uh, once I'm done through that regimen of four, I'll do a mite check on this with my uh, mite check uh, alcohol wash. Uh, so you don't want to have more than nine mites per wash of a half cup of bees that come off of one of your uh, brood frames of the nurse bees, because that's where the mites uh, tend to congregate is on your nurse bees and around the brood. So that's it, uh, looks good to me. Uh, not, nothing else we can do, just keep on keeping on. So give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel on your way out and we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.